And then I'm back to my own room. Uh, come on. Let's get this over with. Nice. Alright, let's go kill some kids. Yes. Death. Right place to park, though. I don't need it that much. The great thing being, they all have their own driveway. Fuck no. Fuck no. Ugh. Anyway, um. It's great weather for balloon rides, it seems. It seems. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Three balloons so far. Try to keep track. Make sure you don't count the same one twice. <laughs> that would be cheap. <sighs> would you do it? Balloon ride. Hanging from what is basically a wicker basket attached to four metal cables onto a piece of cloth with hot air in it. Would you do it? Knowing that it's wind guided pretty much. There's another one I think. I don't know. I mean, you don't hear too often that balloons crash, so I suppose it's rather safe. But I mean there's something in the back of your mind going, Yep, you're flying that high in the air in a wicker basket. <sighs> eh, I don't know. I might be convinced to do it, but out of my own, I probably won't ever go like, hmm, balloon ride, let's go for it. But, you know, if it were like a gift or something, I'd probably do it. But, I, I mean, it's the entire thing like, well, you can't really decide where to go. And, don't get me wrong, I know you can sort of do that because they apparently know what way the wind is blowing on different altitudes, and with that, they can choose where to go, sort of, more or less. But, that's fine and dandy. But you're going to have to land at some point. You're going to have to land at some point. And, um, how does that work then? I mean, you're coming in hot, pretty much, you know? And you can't really put the brakes on it. Not without tipping over the entire wicker baskets. Interdasting. But yeah. Um, it's weird. I mean, you know it's safe, and yet you still think, dude, that has to be a death trap. Well, it's not. It's not. I suppose that's kind of the thrill of the entire thing, right? In the same way roller coasters actually work. You know you'll be fine most of the time. But your brain still goes, ah, I'm gonna die, and you know that's where you get your thrills out. Tricking the brain that you're in danger. That's pretty much what all thrills boil down to, if you think about it. I'm personally not a thrill seeker of my own, um, but if I go to an amusement park, which I'm not a big fan of, more on that potentially later, until I, unless I remind it already went over this, but you know, I do go on the roller coasters rather than teacups. Amusement park, right? Jeez. 
I mean, we've got this amusement park, and I mean, think about it. Imagine we are a family of four, right? Two parents, two kids. Apparently, that's like the standard family joke. Well, at least it's here. Uh, two parents, two kids. First of all, enter. Right? I think it's like, what, 26? Somewhere between 25 and 30 for an adult to enter. There's two of them, so take 27 and a half entry, that's 55 for parents and what, half? 13 for the kids, 26 and a half, that's 70, 81 already gone just to try and get into the front gates. And there's parking stuff as well attached to that, but you know, 20. 81 euros gone. And then half of the time, you know, they want something to eat, they want something to drink. A lot of people take their own drinks with them, a lot of people take their own foods with them, but Keep in mind, when do you go to an amusement park? When it's good, good weather outside. What does good weather mean? Warm, dry. So warm and dry. Which means after maybe an hour or two, three, that you're there, your drinks and beverages and food and all is hot, cold, not cold, warm. Um, unless you're an idiot and go with an actual cooler. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen that. I mean, who the hell? Drags a cooler along to the amusement park. Now, don't get me wrong, right? It's not because you might do that that you're an idiot. Okay? What I said is, I've seen it here, here in Belgium. Here, it's a rarity and basically pretty much not done. Right? So, anyway, continue the story. No, drinks are warm, you're thirsty. Are you gonna drink warm Coca-Cola? No, <laughs> hell no. So that's disgusting. So, you need to buy some drinks. Expensive ass freaking malarkey. Seriously. Carry on. That's like 50 more stalls selling ice cream and hot dog. Yeah, of course, you got to do the kids whining, I want a hot dog, I want an ice cream, and you know. And you're going to an amusement park, you're most likely doing it for the kids, aren't you? Yes, you are, right? Because you're looking at your wallet and you're like, oh my god, why am I here? But no, you're doing it for your kids, so, you know, hey, give them ice cream, stuff like that. And then the fun part, of course, you can't forget that, queuing up. You can spend like, 45 minutes queuing for a uh, one minute ride. The best thing ever is, of course, once you do finish queuing up. Then is the perfect time for your kid to get cold feet. You finally made it through the queue. Everything is freaking fine. And then your kid decides, I don't want to go on this ride anymore. And there you go. Fun fact being that I'm already not a peel person to begin with. I, mean, I legitimately don't like queuing. And I don't like crowds. I mean, go to a market or something like that. Yeah, thank you, but no thanks. Anyway, like I said, I like the roller coaster more than teacups. And what rides do you think get the longest lines? Yep, they're roller coasters. So, you know. But, and I hear you thinking. Isn't there a solution? Yes, there is. In some amusement parks, they got these express passes. Basically means you get to pay double as much. Maybe triple, I can't exactly know. But you get to skip the lines. Now, the problem with that is you're not the only one with a pass like that. So with a bit of bad luck, there's like tons of people with a pass like that, you still end up queuing. And at that point, you're also thinking like, but that's like totally unfair to everybody else. And you're right. I mean, sure, 
sure, one guy pays more and he gets to... Was that guy's license plate really Roy 007? Oh, crap, it was. And uh, yeah, it is. He pays double as much as those stupid lines, but if there's a lot of people with a pass like that, there's a good chance that... My eye. There's a good chance that if you don't have a pass like that, you're just stuck waiting. You see ride after ride leave filled with people who have a pass like that. So that means that if you don't have a pass like that, you're going to be queuing even longer. So what you're going to do Next time you go, you get a pass as well. And eventually, everybody's gonna have a pass like that, and the whole fist crumbles. Which really isn't a bad thing for the people who own the amusement park, because you're still paying double and triple the price for an entry ticket. The hell, they care where you fuck your standing to queue up. Uh, okay, it's a thing, isn't it? Okay. Last time I went to one was, it could be like two or three years ago. It wasn't too bad, it was kind of cloudy, so, and it wasn't during the weekend, so it you know, it helped, but, you know, still, as the day goes by, more and more people do end up showing up, but, you know, it's still getting longer, and, yeah. Uh, at least you don't have to pay for toilets. Ha <laughs> ha, yes you do. But it does seem like the common way to go here is to pay an entry ticket and all of the rides are actually free. At least you got that going for it. You know, I've played all the Kush Tycoon and some of those you have to pay to get in and they have to pay for rides as well, but you know. Anyway, there's a woman gardening. Enjoy. Either that or she's looking for something. Nope, she's gardening. She's got a thing in her hand. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're the series. Feel free to show support by coming, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.